This is an acro gymnastics unit for our grade eight students at St. Paul's. It follows a design thinking process whereby students are given a, a problem at the start of the unit and they have to come up with an acro gymnastics routine in order to solve that design problem. The idea was that we just get lots and lots of different ideas, try to engage with something that the students would be excited by, but also try and get them thinking, oh, that's impossible, how can I create a gymnastics performance for climate change. But it's it's quite amazing once we once they start to work together, it's quite amazing the ideas they come up with. Climate change is a great example of, of actually employing the entire class to generate ideas. And so we do an activity whereby uh, the initial pair will brainstorm some ideas and then they'll pass that piece of paper around to another pair and then to another pair to another pair. So by the time we get the paper gets back to that particular pair, they've actually had 30 different sets of eyes look at that problem. And, and so therefore they can start to draw ideas from the entire class, even though it's their own routine. The students have a chance to set their own success criteria and so therefore they work on uh, trying to meet that success criteria throughout the term and then at the end of term for their final performance they can judge themselves whether they've been successful based off the, the criteria they've set themselves. There's some parameters that the students must stay within. Um, so for example we say that the students must, their routine must last at least two minutes. They must have some kind of music within their performance and they must uh, consider costuming as part of the performance. After that, it's pretty much open to the students. And this is where it's, it's an extremely well differentiated unit because the students have a chance to bring their pre-existing abilities into gymnastics. We have some students that are excellent gymnasts that can perform uh, you know, multiple acrobatic movements. And we have some students that uh, would struggle to hold a basic postural position. And so allowing the students the chance to set their success criteria really allows them to engage with the unit because they realise that actually I can access this assessment and because our underpinning concept is that of aesthetics it really really allows every student to excel which is fantastic but allow, it allows every student to be really engaged in the unit and, and strive for their best. We like to think we go beyond the mastery of the basics. Um, students of course learn to develop their specialised movement sequences, they learn to develop their, their movement strategies, they learn to um, refine their movements, all the things that Akara would like us to do. But also we like to go that one step further and look at the dispositions that the students are developing. So Realms of Thinking has also enabled myself as a teacher to be uh, innovative and creative and ultimately improve my practice as a teacher.